What's up guys, OEF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I have a pair of Taka Hayashis off the vault line. This is the Court High LX, colorway is Pixel Camo, loading green. These are size 12 and these retail for 125. Starting off the box here, you have this dark olive colored box here. This is the spring summer 2014 box. Got your Taka graphics here on the top as well as on the back of the box. And then of course your small Vans logos throughout. Face of the box is in white. Comes in your pretty basic style. Taka dust bag here. Just a basic natural color. And then you have like this brownish gold Taka logo there on the front with a brown cord lace. As I mentioned, these released early last year, spring, summer. This collection dropped with a pair of court highs here as well as a pair of court lows. The court lows featured a slightly different pattern. The side here was made up of a, I believe, woodland camo colorway. Same olive throughout, but it did not have this pixel look to it. I was definitely feeling the pixel ones more so. And the, the low top version of the shoe looks kind of funky in my opinion. I did like these shoes when they dropped, but uh, retail at 125, I still thought it was pretty steep. I managed to wait it out a bit and I picked these up from the St. Alfred sale that they had about a week or two ago for $30. So super psyched on that. I definitely wanted to have this shoe in my collection. Let's get into the materials. On the toe box here, as well as on the eyelets, tongue, and heel, you have this very short-haired suede. It's a very buttery, very smooth, definitely a Taka-style suede. You can see a nice suede trim here on the sides of the eyelets here along the ankle as well. It almost seems like a felt to me. It's like a felt or a suede, something like that, but definitely very soft. You even have that suede on the pull tab here, which is definitely useful. Help you get these on a lot easier. The side panel of this shoe is made up in a canvas, which features that herringbone pattern. It's the same pattern that you usually see on these toe bumpers, which Taka has been using a lot lately. You notice it's a little bit thicker up front here than it is towards the back. Not exactly sure why he likes his style, but you definitely see it on a lot of his releases. On this midsole here, you see the nice cut, which leads to the back. I definitely like this portion of the midsole a lot. It kind of reminds me of like a Greek style maybe, with the little waves here and the diamonds in the middle. You got that Taka Hayashi license plate there on the back. And the color of this midsole is really nice. It's kind of like a super light gray color. Pretty much like the same color that we saw on those vault suede leather nubuck zip skate highs. So it's definitely a nice color. It doesn't look that gross when it gets dirty, which is definitely something cool. Got this really nice stitching pattern on the heel here, which is definitely unique to this style. This is the second time they've released this model. The first time Taka did this model was back in 2013, I believe, with the Paradise Pack. He released two versions of the shoe. One of them had like a light brown color. The other one was like a really bright royal blue. And they both featured like a, some kind of island theme with um, skulls and palm trees and parrots definitely a cool pack i'm still looking for the brown ones if i can get them at a good price but this is the second release of this shoe almost has a converse style silhouette to it in my opinion it's very narrow here at the top as you can tell and there's very minimal padding actually there's no padding at all in here so really reminds me of a high top converse but of course you have that chunky bumper on the toe. 
features these square leather laces here in this really dark brown color. The extra laces were these round, like natural colored ones, but I'm definitely gonna stick with the leathers. The eyelets are a slightly different color than the suede, pretty much the same as this trim. A nice olive color. You got some more of that canvas herringbone here on the top of the tongue, and then this really dark olive Taka logo. In the inside we see Vans Taka Hayashi. And you have this really nice color in the interior as well. This like steel blue color. It makes up the entire inside of the shoe, even down to the footbed there. And that is that Widow's Peak style footbed. Just an awesome color. Goes really well with that olive. You even see that same color here on the outsole also in the Widow's Peak style, and you have the dark gum on the back. A couple features that I forgot to mention here, you do have the jazz stripe, which is outlined by this olive stitching, just to give it a very subtle Vans touch. You also have the three lines up top here, almost reminds me of a skate high. It does have that same stitching, but obviously the toe box is a little bit different here with these flaps. On the toe box, you also have these diamond perforations, which are pretty cool. And on the interior of the shoe, you have this little olive patch, which is in a rubber material, and it is sewn in there. Right at the arch, you do have some holes there for breathability, and that patch is in a herringbone style as well. These do fit true to size, and as I mentioned, these retail for $125. You can probably find these on sale at a couple different stores though because these have been sitting on the shelves for a while. I know Blend still has these. I will put the link in the description below if anybody wants to try to cop these. Only a couple sizes left as far as I know. Well, I hope you guys like this review and be sure to stay tuned for the on feed.